I think the most memorable moment I have with Bruce, one of the one of the best days of my life was we were working together in Haddonfield, New Jersey, 1982. Uh, doing photography for Nebraska and it was a hot Memorial Day weekend and we decided to get out of town for a while and just cool off so we jumped in my car and we went off into the Jersey Pine Barrens and I had Bruce Springsteen tapes in my car so I was embarrassed so I asked Bruce to pull one of the tapes out of his car so we could listen to something and uh, he had a tape of uh, the best of Creedence Clearwater Revival so it turns out, as we pulled out of town, we got out into the Jersey Pine Barrens, just the two of us, he riding shotgun, me driving, with the windows down on a hot day so that you could smell the, the actual fragrance coming from the pine needles that have been baked by the sun just coming through the window as we're streaming through this two-lane two blacktop. And we're playing Creedence Clearwater Revival's Lodi on the uh, tape deck and I cannot sing to save my life, but I was harmonizing with Bruce, uh, and we were singing Lodi together, driving through the Pine Barrens, just the two of us in South Jersey, and uh, that was just uh, one of those memories that I'll always have. South Jersey, and here in Philadelphia, and then South Jersey, especially South Jersey, um, he's come down to South Jersey, and as, as his career was evolving. He played at a lot of clubs in South Jersey, at the Jersey Shore, uh, in Cherry Hill, at the old Earlton Lounge and places like that. Um, so his roots are down here just as well as his roots are in North Jersey, in Freehold, in Asbury Park, in Point Pleasant and, and those places. Um, you know, he still has a lot of fond memories of South Jersey and, he, and you know, he cut his teeth down here. You know, New Jersey in general is a, is a unique place. Uh, you go up north and you have mountains and you have, you know, megalopolis uh, cities and Newark and, and uh, you know, Jersey City and, you know, so close to Manhattan. Um, you have, like I said, the mountains up in the western, northern part of New Jersey and some great countryside up there. But in South Jersey, it's like, I love it because it's like the land of time forgot. You have, you know, you have the, the whole seashore area which is just wonderful. I grew up there. It's, it, the smell, the, 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 you know, just the, the memories are always there. You have the, um, you know, the areas closer to Philadelphia, uh, the small towns that are close to Philly. You've got the woods, you've got the Jersey Pine Barrens, you know, you've got Cape May and, and, the, and the areas along the Delaware River, uh, you know, and the Delaware Bay uh, that, are, that are, you know, just places that, like I said, it's a land of time forgotten. I love going back there because it's like my youth comes back to me, my childhood comes back to me because nothing's changed, you know, and, uh, and I love it. Back in the 70s and 80s, uh, we had the luxury of time. Uh, Bruce was working his projects. He wanted to get it right, so he had, he afforded me, and, and I had the, uh, you know, the great luck to be able to work with him over extended periods of time. There are other photographers that, you know, all right, you got five minutes, you know, Bruce is doing this and then he's going there. Um, so it, you know, I felt very fortunate to have that luxury of time with him.